When we meditate, there are two different kinds of attention that we can use. One requires a whole lot of effort, and the other one is fairly effortless. And to my way of thinking, not nearly enough airtime is given to this key difference. It was the American psychologist, William James, who coined the terminology voluntary versus involuntary attention. Voluntary attention is when we deliberately place our focus on something. So when we're meditating, for example, we might decide we're going to focus on the breath. Uh, this requires a lot of effort and concentration. Involuntary attention, on the other hand, is what happens when your attention is grabbed by something. It could be anything. So, for example, we're, we're out in the middle of the bush in Africa and I'm talking to a group of people and suddenly I'm aware they're no longer tuned into what I'm saying because there's a herd of elephant wandering past. Now, that is involuntary attention. Their, their, their attention is grabbed by these beautiful animals walking past. Now, it's really interesting when we can start to bring that involuntary attention to our meditation, how less effortful it becomes. There's a phrase called soft fascination, which I really like because, you know, there's nothing amazing about sitting on your backside, uh, focus on your breath, but every breath really is subtly different from the breath that precedes it. Uh, and this soft fascination is um, a phrase that has a parallel in the East with when they use terms like beginner's mind or child mind. It's a sense of genuine curiosity about what's about to happen. It can make a really material difference to our subjective experience of meditation. When we sit down on our meditation cushion and instead of having the sense of having to focus on something for the next X minutes, instead have the attitude of, I wonder how it's going to be today. A sense of soft fascination, curiosity, child's mind. So next time you have a meditation session, try that slightly different shift of attitude and see whether it brings different results for you.